Hi, I'm Ken Martin, PGA professional, certified in general management and instruction, teacher here at the Kaiser University College of Golf. Today I wanted to talk to you about how the club face angle can be affected by the way you hinge your wrist at the top. So there's three basic ways you can hinge your wrist. One would be such that the back of the left hand or lead hand is on the same plane as the forearm and the shaft and the club face would also match that plane. We would call this a square position. Another way that you can hinge it is simply by cupping the wrist. If I get in this angle you can probably see that a little bit better and this type of a hinge has a direct relationship on the club face by opening the club face. This might uh, help if someone's having a little bit of a hooking problem, didn't want to adjust their grip, they could actually just create uh, more of a cupping action in the wrist hinge and that would create more of an open face. The third way would be by bowing the wrist. Bowing has the effect of closing the club face. So if you have someone who is maybe over cupping with an open face, they could actually get the feeling for flat or a slight bowing to actually close the face. And this can have a direct effect on impact uh, by changing the face angle and changing the shot shape. So if you like the way you're holding it, you might just change the way you're hinging it to affect the club face. Thanks.